Ugh. Greetings and salutations. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we're looking at the Feedlink Revo Kit. Um, I saw this online for $17.99. Uh, one of the guys I work with spotted it. Uh, and thought, at oh, that price, actually, for a, you know, a, a cheap single battery squonker, yeah, we'll give it a bash. Uh, so it's a single 8650. Uh, you take out the battery like so. And this little thing here, it's a, bit, a little bit fiddly. And in you go with that. Uh, the tank you get, of course, is the, the Revo. Uh, I've done this before, a good while ago now. Uh, Flavor's actually not too bad on this thing. It's, you know, it's acceptable. Top airflow there. Tank on the bottom. And of course, if I can get this off, it comes with the sort of notch style sort of disc coil. Um, quite a good tank in the fact that as long as you keep it upright, it is pretty much leak proof. Uh, but this one, of course, comes with a squonk sort of pin, if you like. Uh, now, you can't change the squonk pin, so you can't particularly use this on a standard device. Um, what I will say about the Revo is this. While the flavour is acceptable, it's a very dry flavour, I find. Yeah, very, uh, I've used the same flavour in this as another tank. And it leaves sort of a dry, well I found anyway, quite a dry feeling in the mouth. You get two coals for this. Um, and I'm a bit confused about this because in the, the bump, the manual, it says coils 0.1 to 0.14. Now, there's no markings on these coils. Both have the same colour um, sort of seal on it. Uh, so I'm not sure if there's two different coils or both the same coils. Uh, to be honest with you, I did not buy this for the Revo. So let's take that bad boy off. Um, oh God, there you go. So in the box you get spare seals, you get spare glass, and of course the spare coil. Um, single button there, one, two, three, four, five. Locks it, you can see that flashing there. One, two, three, four, five. Unlocks it. Um, right, let's talk about this as a squonker then. So, squonk bottle there, 7mm, uh, device will read down to 0.1, and the squonk bottle, it's, it's actually quite, I, I quite like this. You twist halfway, and you pull this bad boy out. And then to fill it up, you unscrew this top bit here, and there is your fill. Um, it's quite neat, quite tidy, you can see there has been a bit of leakage there. And now there's a lot more leakage. <laughs> and then to push that back in, in it goes, find the notch, twist, Bob is your uncle. The uh, device itself is, you know, quite, quite neat, quite, quite sort of um, professional looking, quite comfortable in the hand, it must say as well. Yeah, quite comfortable in the hand. And what I've noticed with this is, as I'm using it, you, you don't particularly notice the, the voltage sag or anything else. It kind of keeps a fairly consistent power throughout. Um, now, downsides then. I think because of the design of the squonk bowl, you do occasionally, it's not going to happen now. But there you are, you had that, that squelch as I pushed. There is almost like a lack of pressure sometimes when you push the squonk bowl. Um, and, and I'm guessing that's because of the way, the, when the bottle comes out, the way it sort of pushes onto the top. And it's basically just a, a rubber seal that's, that's, that's sort of uh, sealing it, sealing it. <laughs> a rubber seal that's sealing it. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's not fantastic from a squonk point of view. Uh, but at the end of the day, if, if, if you're squonking it and, 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 you, and you hear that squelch, well, you just push it again. Job done. Uh, so yeah, I've used this with the single coil um, devices and dual coil, obviously, devices, the capstone there. Uh, and to be honest with the power delivery, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, would I have bought this at full price and been happy with it at, what was it, 60 quid or something? Mm, uh, but uh, under 20 quid, yeah, pretty, pretty damn happy with that. And I've been using this quite a lot for the last, ooh, what, six weeks probably now. Um, so yeah, if you're after a cheap squonk mod, the Feedlink Revo Kit. Anything else I didn't say about that? 7mm tank, reads down to 0.1, 0.14, 0.1, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14, 0.14,
single 8650 battery. Um, usual things has the uh, cut off five times 10 seconds, then it'll stop firing. Um, short circuits protection, overheat protection, battery reverse protection. Yeah, so you actually get quite a lot for your money there. If you can pick it up at the same price I did. Um, I can't remember what website I got it off now. But yeah, there you go. So that, yeah, that is the Feedlink Revo Kit by Aspire. I, th I believe it's their first uh, foray into the squonk market. And, and, and this device now, it's, yeah, it's what, six months, a year old, I think, when it first came out. So it, it's, it's been around a while. So yeah, you'll definitely be able to pick them up cheap if you want. Uh, and that is all for that. And we'll catch you guys later.